Everyone celebrates the minds of Einstein, Hawking, and Tesla, brilliant visionaries who reshaped our understanding of the world. But there was one man, a true Renaissance genius, who stood in a league of his own, a polymath so ahead of his time that even Nikola Tesla himself admired him. Yet despite his staggering intellect and groundbreaking ideas, his story is one of heartbreak, betrayal, and obscurity, a mind that burned too brightly, only to be forgotten by history. Who was he, and why did the world turn its back on him? Meet Walter Russell, a man whose mind defied the limits of science, art, and philosophy. At just seven years old, he experienced his first moment of illumination, an insight so profound it would shape his entire life. At 14, he defied death itself, surviving a brutal battle with diphtheria. But what happened next was even more astonishing. He claimed to have left his body, glimpsing a reality beyond human comprehension. But these were only the first steps in a journey that would challenge the very foundations of physics, unlock secrets of the universe, and earn him the admiration of Nikola Tesla himself. So why has history all but erased his name? And what did he discover that the world wasn't ready to accept? In 1885, at 14 years old, he was reportedly pronounced dead after an attack of black diphtheria, but claimed he was asked to return during another out-of-body experience. He started his self-study and was the first to coin the phrase electromagnetic wave universe. As he turned 50 in May of 1921, his life took an unexpected turn with another out-of-body experience he termed cosmic illumination. This great intellectual and spiritual encounter provided him with profound insights into the nature of matter, light, and the mechanics of the universe. The year was 1921, and Walter Russell was about to cross the threshold between the known and the unfathomable. At 50 years old, he entered what he later described as a 39-day cosmic trance, a state of consciousness so profound that it defied explanation. When he emerged, he wasn't the same man. He claimed to have unlocked the very code of the universe, deep insights into the nature of matter, energy, and light. Ideas so radical they challenged the foundations of modern physics and echoed concepts only later explored by quantum mechanics. But was he a visionary ahead of his time, or a man lost in the depths of his own mind? Walter Russell's ideas weren't just groundbreaking, they were dangerous. So revolutionary, in fact, that none other than Nikola Tesla himself issued a chilling warning, sealed them away for a thousand years. Why? Because if humanity wasn't ready, these revelations could disrupt everything we thought we knew about science, energy, and existence itself. What secrets did Russell uncover, and why did one of history's greatest inventors fear their impact on the world? Tesla, in review of Dr. Russell's Universal One, said, You are a thousand years ahead of your time. Man is not ready for this yet. You need to give it to the Smithsonian, have them put it in a time capsule, and have it opened in a thousand years. Then, man will be able to understand what you've given the world. That's pretty heavy. Walter Russell's revelations weren't just ahead of their time. They shattered the very foundations of conventional science. He claimed to have unlocked the hidden blueprint of the universe, where everything, from the smallest atom to the grandest galaxy, follows an intricate, intelligent design. His most mind-bending insights included. Matter isn't solid. It emerges from a vast, unseen zero-point energy field. Everything we perceive as physical is simply a ripple in this infinite cosmic ocean. We are not just flesh and blood. We are electric beings living in an electric universe. Our thoughts, our bodies, even our very existence is governed by the same unseen currents that shape the stars. Nature doesn't move randomly, it plays out in a precise symphony of nine octaves of pressure. Everything in existence follows rhythmic cycles, like the harmonies of a grand cosmic orchestra. If Russell was right, then modern science has barely scratched the surface of reality. But could his discoveries have rewritten history, if only the world had listened? Notable works include A New Concept of the Universe, which came out in 1953, in which he developed a different understanding of light, matter, energy, electricity, and magnetism. Walter Russell believed that all matter emanated from light, emphasizing interconnectedness, relativity, pairing, and balance in everything. His theory supporting diagrams are artworks in their own right. Intricate intersecting hoops, vibrant pulsating radiation illustrations, and twisting pyramids and polygons. They bear a striking resemblance to the abstract geometric art of his time, like the modernist works of Kandinsky. Walter Russell's 1926 periodic table wasn't just a chart, it was a masterpiece, a fusion of art, science, and cosmic intelligence. While traditional science saw the elements as isolated building blocks, Russell saw them as dancers in a grand cosmic ballet, moving in perfect rhythm through space and time. His table wasn't static, it pulsed with life. He arranged the elements in a dynamic spiral form, showing their true nature as evolving waveforms, not fixed particles, he believed. Elements don't just exist, 
they ascend and descend in octaves, like musical notes in a universal symphony. Mathematics and geometry govern their structure, revealing a hidden order to the universe. Some elements yet to be discovered would fit perfectly into this grand design, years before modern science confirmed them. Was Russell's periodic table a glimpse into the future of physics, or was he tuning into a truth the world wasn't ready to hear? This theory takes the spiral periodic table of Walter Russell and explains its structure as a three-dimensional process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. As the spherical symmetry breaks, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, known as the Fibonacci spiral. The further we go down and out from the center of the spiral, the more broken the symmetry becomes and the more unstable and radioactive the elements become. If we look down on the spiral structure from above, it is easier to see that hydrogen is in the center next to helium, with the noble gases and the other groups of elements radiating out like spokes from the center of a wheel. Also, by having a periodic spiral, we can place the groups that can undergo ionic bonding together on each side of the noble gases. I will place links below to videos that explain this dynamic geometrical process in greater detail. If you find these ideas interesting, please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory. In a stunning feat of foresight, Walter Russell's 1926 periodic table didn't just organize the known elements, it predicted the future of science. One of his most shocking revelations, he accurately predicted the existence of plutonium a full 13 years before its official discovery in 1940. At the time, radioactivity was still a mystery, barely understood by even the greatest minds in physics. Yet Russell's spiral arrangement of the elements showed a natural progression, hinting at missing pieces in the atomic puzzle. He didn't just speculate, he pinpointed where plutonium had to exist within the grand design of matter itself. Was this sheer coincidence, or had Russell tapped into a deeper, hidden order of the universe, one that science is only now beginning to grasp? At 56, Walter Russell did the impossible. He became a master sculptor overnight, with no formal training, no years of study, just sheer untapped genius. His hands seemed guided by something beyond mere skill, carving life into stone with uncanny precision. His sculptures weren't just art, they were expressions of energy and form, capturing the very essence of his subjects. His Mark Twain memorial radiated the wisdom and wit of the legendary writer. His Thomas Edison and Charles Goodyear busts were so lifelike that they earned him a place among America's greatest artists. His talent was so undeniable that he became the official sculptor for the White House. A self-taught visionary, a scientist, a philosopher, an artist, was there anything Walter Russell couldn't do? Walter Russell didn't just theorize about the universe, he drew it. His intricate diagrams of the unseen forces shaping reality are nothing short of mesmerizing. Swirling vortexes, spiraling waves, and geometric blueprints of creation itself, his artwork looks like a fusion of sacred geometry and cutting-edge physics. What makes it even more astonishing, he had zero formal training in either art or science, and yet his illustrations seem to map out concepts that modern quantum physics is only now beginning to explore. Was he a man decades ahead of his time, or was he tapping into a cosmic intelligence that defied explanation? When Walter Russell wasn't unraveling the mysteries of the universe, he was gliding across the ice, literally. Not content with being just a scientist, philosopher, artist, and sculptor, he also played a key role in popularizing figure skating in America. He founded New York City's first skating club, giving the sport a home in the bustling metropolis. He organized high-profile skating events at Madison Square Garden, bringing the elegance of the ice to the masses, and perhaps most impressively, he wasn't just a behind-the-scenes figure. Well into his 60s, Russell was still competing and winning national figure skating titles. Was there any frontier this man couldn't conquer? Walter Russell wasn't just challenging ideas, he was challenging the very foundation of science itself. His radical theories on energy, matter, and the structure of the universe clashed head-on with Newtonian physics. He argued that the universe wasn't a mechanical system of separate parts, but a living, breathing symphony of energy and consciousness. The scientific establishment pushed back hard. Some dismissed him as a pseudo-scientist. Others ignored him entirely. After all, how could an artist, a sculptor, and a self-taught thinker possibly rewrite the laws of physics? And yet, his ideas of energy fields, wave dynamics, and the unity of science and spirituality eerily aligned with concepts explored today in quantum mechanics and unified field theories. Was he a misunderstood genius, centuries ahead of his time, 
or was he uncovering truths the world wasn't ready to accept? Walter Russell passed away in 1963 on his birthday, May 19th. Upon his death, Walter Cronkite of CBS News called him the Leonardo da Vinci of our time. Despite his extensive writings and insights on scientific topics, Walter Russell is often dismissed as an outsider, a pseudo-scientist, with his ideology rarely accepted by the mainstream scientific community today. He believed he could see the very essence of creation and that every man has consummate genius within themselves. What did I learn from Walter Russell? He didn't just believe in genius, he believed it was within all of us waiting to be unleashed. Mediocrity is self-inflicted, he wrote, genius is self-bestowed. To Russell, brilliance wasn't reserved for a select few. It wasn't about luck, privilege, or formal education. It was a choice, a force we could cultivate if we dared to break free from the limits we impose on ourselves. His life was proof of that, a self-taught artist, scientist, philosopher, and athlete who mastered everything he touched. And if he was right, then the world isn't lacking in genius, we're just not claiming it. As I always say, we are one genius away from saving the world. The question is, will you be the one to step into it? Love him or doubt him, one thing is undeniable, Walter Russell was a force of nature. His life was a testament to the power of curiosity, creativity, and unshakable conviction. He didn't just think outside the box, he obliterated the box entirely, proving that genius isn't limited by education, profession, or societal expectations. From science to art, from philosophy to sports, he mastered it all driven by a relentless pursuit of truth. Some called him a visionary, others dismissed him as a dreamer, but history has a way of catching up to those ahead of their time. So was Walter Russell an unsung genius, a misunderstood mystic, or something else entirely? What do you think of? And that's a wrap. If this story blew your mind, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that like button and share it with someone who needs a little inspiration today. For more deep dives into the lives of forgotten geniuses and revolutionary thinkers, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Who should I cover next? Drop your suggestions in the comments. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and most of all, stay extraordinary.